if there is a place one could call a own town, it's Portsmouth. If nothing else, I can do the local dialect. I know the words, din low, going ring the ring the bell, because I don't squinny too much. My role in Seekers is to fill in application forms for the money. I, after many uh, odd adventures, I ended up as an accountant, although, as many people who are accountants, would say they would prefer to be lion tamers. And um, this has been a very good night, more networking with people that I've only met on a virtual world, and we will progress more and more to make Portsmouth a better place by encouraging the youth of today to be the leaders of tomorrow. The music of yourself. Bad dream. I'm Mike, I've been working with Claire with Seekers for about a year now. Um, one of Seekers' goals is to help inspire young people and I like to do that because I'm really interested in 3D printing and electronics. So I like to bring my 3D printer along to events and get young people involved in showing how it works and what they can make with 3D printing and inspire their creativity that way. as a request from Claire to showcase what myself and Comrade are building out of milk bottles using a machine similar to that over there, the plastic grinder, um, to, to make a boat to sail around the Isle of Wight uh, next week. So it's still in pieces, uh, hopefully it's all good. But in general, Port Air for Portsmouth, what we're trying to do is create these facilities where people can come and make things come true. Like, you know, if someone wanted to make a 40 foot boat randomly, where do they go kind of thing. So um, obviously I'm not recommending everyone to build a 40 foot boat at once because it's, it's a bit of a problem. We can't house it all, but um, yeah. Uh, so anything um, from an artistic creation to an engineering project, we're in all for game. In the music. We're, we're all for it. You music too. It's the music of the earth. The music of the sun and the stars. The music of yourself. Yes. Vibrate. met Claire about a year or so ago um, to talk about the Shirley's Flag Project and um, the model we've got here actually tells the story of Shirley. Um, we've helped out with the historical context um, by giving Claire some guidance on the, uh, you know, who the Grenadier Guards were, what sort of tanks were used. Um, Shirley was also given a collection of cap badges by some of the soldiers that were encamped close to their home, which we've also got on display here this evening, um, along with a Canadian Voluntary Medal, which was issued to all Canadian troops. Um, the medal actually comes with a bar, so anybody serving in Europe would have received the medal with the bar on. Um, the gentleman here is a chap called Arthur Egerton Knight, who played for Portsmouth before and after the First World War. Um, and again, uh, Claire's helped us uh, tell that story and um, put trails together for some of the soldiers that we're remembering, um, both through the First and the Second World Wars. Um, we also, as a way of raising funds for our charity, um, we also produce a military theme uh, series of beers. So the one I've got here is actually um, Armistice Ale, which is based on a old traditional uh, mild from probably around the early 1900s quite malty in flavour. I actually brew this with a friend of mine who has a microbrewery down near Dorchester. And um, funnily enough, Claire's actually visited the brewery in the past and we're actually hoping to do a beer, a beer for Claire for the Shirley's Flag story when it's um, paraded in May of this year.
Secrets. We've recently been working with Claire on the project of Shirley's Flag. We've got our VE Day Parade coming up in May, whereby our juniors are actually going to be doing something towards Shirley's Flag and the progression of the flag throughout Europe. We've also been working with Claire on other projects, including making music with some of the affiliates uh, from the university. And it's been really good fun for our juniors working with them. And we hope to continue to work with her in the future. Lady Mayoress, councillors, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I first of all say how thrilled me and Lady Mayoress are delighted to be here this evening. What I liked about coming here was the atmosphere. The minute I walked in, everybody's so excited. And of course, people working together, networking is so, so important. So the purpose of our conference was to bring all of our people together and to um, expand our reach across communities um, and to celebrate um, 100 years of Portsmouth Sailing Club and our other funded project by the National Lottery Heritage Fund, Follow Shirley Slack. Thanks everyone for coming today, we've had a really lovely evening, uh, thanks to our contributors, we've had the Mayor come along and the Mayoress, we're really pleased, uh, Solid Sky Services, the Sea Cadets, uh, we've had Systemic Growth, we've had, who else have we had? Ooh, look at my head.